got a snowblower. Uh, it has a, comes, uh, probably a 3.5. It ain't much of a big snowblower, though. Um, it's missing the heater box for the, for the carburetor and an air filter. Um, I was just running it, so it should start right up, but it's a Tecumseh, so, and it needs a carburetor, build, so. It needs a new muffler, because that one's about ready to go bye-bye and fall off of it. Can't really see it. Hold on. Uh, I almost got the right belt. It'll move, but you have to hit the brake and... You can't use the clutch, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, that, and... What else did I do? Today? I got some motor oil for that this. Hang on, let me turn this light so you can see that thing better. Well, that's bright. And this bird. There's bright. Okay, here we go. There you go. There's a better view. Is that better or what? Yeah. Um, that was bent to where it, it's still kind of bent. As you can see, still uh, I think the bearings need to be repacked, and that stuff. You could tell me what size engine it, well, I'll find out on Monday. Happy Thanksgiving. So, but it's a little late for that. Oh well, happy Thanksgiving weekend. Oh. Um, I will get a... Well, oh, I'm getting a heater box, hopefully, and an air cleaner and air filter. So, it's missing all of that. Which sucks. I got new oil for this. And when it was running, really, it revved up a little bit, about half throttle. Uh, it blew oil out the valve, out the valve cover. But that's because there's a little too much oil in it. It hasn't done it since, though. Uh, the primer isn't hooked up, for some reason, and I'm thinking it was because it went to the air filter, or it went right... It's amazing how stupid people are. That guy about hit my truck. What a dumb one. Well, I'm thinking that that went into the carb on this little brass tube. Because that kind of makes a little sense, and that choke will close right over it, too, so. I'm thinking it either went there, or it was, uh, hooked to the air cleaner, and that's how it went. So, I need to take the head off and clean, and check that out. I think I have a different muffler, but I'm pretty sure I might. But I don't think I do. Oh, it's gone anyway. Oh. 
looks like that. This is off the of Briggs and Stratton, but the threads are the same. So. This one might be quieter. I don't know. Well, I'll stop the video, put this on, and then I'll start it again. Well, I put the muffler on, so we're going to see how it sounds. that off before it gets too hot. Huh. Um, I don't know. Let you, let, let me know what you guys think, because it sounds a little quieter than me, but I don't know. That's off of Briggs and Stratton. This is the original muffler. That's way rusted out, like that one is, but seems quieter. And it's a snow blower, so I want it to be as quiet as possible. It looks like it has an exhaust leak right there. Huh. No, I didn't snap the bolt off either, which is surprising. So. Well, I'll take that muffler off and put the original back on. I'm probably... That's my air compressor. I'm probably going to put... Uh, get a new muffler for it, so it's quieter. But, um... Cause that one's kinda in the way of this little bar here. As you can see. Yeah. Okay. Well I'll take that one off and that's my video. See you YouTube.